My movie pick of the week was uh, a movie that really hasn't gotten a lot of exposure. Uh, you know, even when I've gone in to the movies myself to see either movies that I've already reviewed or just ones that I didn't have time to review or just wanted to see, uh, I haven't seen this anywhere in the last several weeks. Uh, so when it was recommended to me by my friends in L.A., uh, as something I might want to look at and review, I took their suggestion and I got it in uh, yesterday. Uh, watched it last night in Rabbit Hole Studios. And I got to tell you, uh, I really like this movie. Now, I don't know why uh, they're not giving it any more promotion than they are, but I, I'm telling you, this is really a good movie. The movie is called Stone, and it stars Robert De Niro and... Edward Norton, Rabbit Girl, Mila Jovovich, and Francis Conroy. Now, I'll tell you, it's a strong R-rated movie. It uh, seems like everything I'm bringing you now is a strong R-rated movie. Uh, it's coming out the October 8th of 2010, and it's basically about a cop that is involved in a case, and he begins, uh, and I don't want to tell you too much about it, but he begins a a series of um, uh, conversations with uh, an inmate that is portrayed by Edward Norton. And in the series of uh, conversations, uh, it comes along in their relationship to a degree to where he somehow or other, and, and here again, you know, this is a kind of, well, let me, let me say this. This is a kind of movie that I can sit there and tell you a couple of things and it will completely spoil it because, you know, I don't know if you're like me, but a lot of times I'll sit there and I'll hear a couple of things about a movie and I'll go, <laughs> you know, it's one of those standard chemical little things that they've got and you know exactly what's going to take place. But let's just put it this way. Edward Norton is in a uh, uh, prison. He is in there for a crime, uh, arson. And uh, it is up to Robert De Niro to determine whether he is uh, should get out or whether he should not get out. Uh, in the course of this events, he meets uh, Edward Norton's wife, who is portrayed by Mila Jovovich. Now, the only thing I'll tell you, because I don't want to spoil this whole thing for you, is he gets into an appropriate, he being... Robert De Niro gets into an appropriate relationship with Mila Jovovich as a kind of a, hey, uh, you know, I'll do anything you want if you'll help get my husband out, who is Edward Norton. So that happens. Uh, things begin to escalate. Uh, things that happen in the movie or what you're looking at initially uh, turn a different direction than you expect. And what you end up with is one hell of an R-rated movie and uh, a great performance by all of the cast. Now, the thing I like about Edward Norton, he always is playing these dark roles, it seems, you know, in the last uh, 10 years or so. But he does a massive job of it. I mean, he really can pass as, you know, a psychopath or whatever. He just got that look. You know, I, I can't remember the movie, but it's the one with Richard Gere where uh, a priest is killed or whatever, and, and he can uh, puts passes himself off as a retard. And, you know, uh, at the end of the thing, you know, he finally shows his true personality, you know, and he got he, he got off somehow or gotten thrown into the, the loony bin or whatever. But anyway, he didn't get the, the, the justice that was supposed to come his way. But... He plays a marvelous job at this particular persona that Edward Norton is trying to portray. Anyway, uh, great movie, strong R-rated, comes out the 8th of October. If you don't know anything about Stone, which I seriously doubt you do, uh, take a look at this. Joe Creasy? I prefer Stone. So, like a nickname? That's, uh... That's what my people call me. Can we talk straight? You gonna help me out or what? Just talk, that's all. And then maybe we both get what we want, okay? All right! Three men walk in there! <laughs> I'd like to stand my currents if I can see him through the review. Is that okay? Yeah. Talk about what got you here. You wanna tell me about that? It's right there in front of you. Why do you wanna talk about that again? Because now you're mine. Do you 
write what you want to write. Hey, let's, just, let's just get on. I see you outside before you see me. Stone! You want to walk out of here? You will go through me. You got it? Yeah. Then sit down. I need you to get with him in person. I would do anything for you, baby. You know that. Officer Mabry, I'm Stoney's wife. You're here to see your husband? I don't want you to get your hopes up. I just want him home. Jeff, come on. I was just wondering when we could get together. Look, I admire that you love your husband and you want to do what's right for him. I do love my husband. And all I'm asking you is for a chance to help you see him in a different light. Can I persuade you? Sin comes naturally. It's inbred in us. Bless the Lord. <clears throat> you lose your place. So Jack said, call him Jack. Sure. Why do you get to walk around free and I don't? I wasn't convicted of a crime. You never did anything bad. Nobody can know about this. And too scared to die? I think it's some kind of play acting. So you both been conning me? Okay. Did you tell him about us? There's something you want to say to me? Look at me. I love you, Jack. Don't listen to her. All right, there you go. Robert De Niro, Edward Norton, Mila Jovovich, the hot Mila Jovovich, and uh, Francis Conroy are in this movie. Uh, as I said, I think you're going to really like this movie a lot. It's a three rabbit up, no question about it. Very entertaining, worth the bucks. Uh, you know, the popcorn and the soft drink is going to cost you a hell of a lot more than this movie is. Uh, so maybe if you can figure some way to get the wife or the girlfriend to sneak in, you know, the bag of, of uh, you know, Orville Redenbacher, you know, or whatever, then all they got to do is buy a soft drink. But it's a great movie. I think you're really, really going to enjoy it. <laughs> 